On June 14th, The Immoralist will be premiering Derek Ahonan's The Bad and the Better. A brand new show written by Derek, a resident playwright directed by Daniel Walken, uh, to premiere at the Peter J. Sharp Theater at Playwrights Horizons on 42nd Street. A huge, huge, bold step out of our comfort zone, which is traditionally the Lower East Side. Um, and it is just grandest undertaking we've ever attempted as a company. The sheer scope of the production, from creative to hammering nails, everything is just big. And this is a clarion call to all of our supporters, all of our fans, all of our enemies, all of those people who maybe don't know us yet, to get on board, to get on board now, um, and join us on this journey. I'm going to take on a bigger narrative at this point. I've never had plays written in my head before I started writing them. Normally the play reveals itself to me as I'm writing it, and it shows me what I'm writing, and then clarity and focus comes through discovery. This particular project, I've seen every single minute, every single page since day one. You should have called me. You could have come over, shot the shit, played some cards. Yeah? Of course, man. You're welcome anytime. How long we been partners? A while, all right. Ten years, man. It's a fucking decade. You spend a decade with someone, and you earn certain inalienable rights. I'm, you know, the balls that is there to represent the aesthetic of our productions and actors within it. You know, there's a certain standard that every actor who works with us should be held to and should be willing to go there, you know? I mean, it's, it's go all the way or don't come at all, that's it. And she makes the best stuff to love you in the world, doesn't she, Dad? Hell of a stuff to love you. I, I really want the theater to come back onto the scene in a really big way, more so than it has been. And I think, I think it's starting to pick up momentum. And I, I honestly think the Immoralists are on one of the forefronts of that and that driving that force. I felt like the Pied Pipers is the exact breath of fresh air that the theater community needs. Like, we can do fun, daring, experimental plays and still have them rooted in, you know, typical dramatic structure and it's like totally accessible. And people will want to come see that. Do you feel better? Slightly. I, I don't know what to say to you anymore. Why? Go and see a therapist. I know people that will see you for free. A therapist doesn't know what happens to you after you die. And neither does a priest, man. But it's not about what happens after you die. It's about the quality of life while you're here. It's like, ah, God, there's no soul. They make you start off laughing hysterically. So it just opens up your heart and your soul to I'm accept these guy. characters and just, just love them dearly. I don't want to feel like a bad guy. Dripping all that sweat all over your goosebump things. Oh, but you're not, baby. You're the hero. You're my hero. You're only the bad guy if you don't drip that sweat because then my body starts thinking crazy thoughts about why you don't want it. Polly, I need it. I need it all the time, like calcium. Don't talk dead. I'm talking biological. And then he cuts in razor sharp. I've been cheating on you, baby. And they just break your heart. I'm empty. There's this huge empty part of me that I don't know how to fill. And even after all these years, somehow, I haven't learned that another human being can't fill it. And yet I continue to hurt those that love me by looking for others to love me more. And even if someone did love me more, I would think there's someone who could love me more than them. Is that why you keep telling me to cheat? You see these characters at their strongest and their happiest. So that way it hits you all the more 
when you see them at their lowest. I'm mean, gonna take on a bigger narrative at this point. Uh, just all of my plays have taken place on a single set over pretty much a single day. And there's radical life-altering experiences that happen within that time frame that's being played out in real time. And this is an epic one that takes place over months with 30 characters. It's by far the biggest, most intricate plot of any play I've ever written. Do you wish that Robert had done that? I don't know. What you don't know can't kill you, right? But you did know on some level you- I did it! This company continues to produce work that is shaking people up, that is upsetting people, that is exciting people, arousing people. I don't know, they're, they're fearless. They just throw themselves into it and they're like animals. And it's, um, what's beautiful about it is they're highly trained animals who are excellent with text. They're excellent physically, the, the most incredible physical company I've ever worked with. No, 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 no. I can't let this happen. Derek's my leader. That's how I see it. I, I'll follow him to the depths of hell doing plays. Like, we'll, we'll, we'll be working. So it was kind of like, this is the uniform that I wear. It's an immoralist uniform. They've taught me so much, and they've been so supportive of me, that this is like my, my, my theater family. Huh. Uh, Theodore's a playwright now, so he's a comedian. Oh, Jesus, artist. I'm assuming the payment plan is in effect. Mm-hmm. I feel like in five years, the ideal would be to be self-sustaining and to not have to ride on the backs of themselves, you know? Because Derek, Matt, and James pump their own money into this stuff all the time. For them, probably at some point, to not have to do that and then to be able to like give themselves back and everybody who's worked really hard on it to give them something back from that. I think is the ideal. So now that you've seen where the immoralists have come from and where we're going, we need your help to support the bad and the better and make it the biggest show since Cats. So if you can, please make a donation. Dig down into your pockets, dig into your checkbooks, and help us. Come on this journey with us. When you grow as a writer, and what I'm excited about is you know, the actors, everyone in the company is growing. I'm able to take on bigger things, and the actors are able to take on bigger things. It's always going in the right direction. You don't want to see them uh, regress. You know, they're very much like athletes in that sense, where it's just like, this is year five, we should be peaking soon. And I think this is, this is going to be our peak season. Uh, for now. <laughs>